Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on single dimensional arrays. I'm going to go and open up my website to javacjava.com, click begin, scroll down to the single dimensional arrays tutorial. So a single dimensional, otherwise known as a one dimensional array, is basically a list of items of the same data type. In Java, an array is an object. The length of the array is set when the array is created, and that length is fixed and cannot be changed later. An array consists of elements. Each element can be modified using its numerical index. Now numerical indexes begin at the number zero, so the first element can be accessed at index zero, the second element is at index one, and so on and so forth. An array with five elements looks like this. At your index zero, element one. Your second element is at index one. Your third element is at index two. Your fourth element, index three, and your fifth element at index four. So there are a couple of different ways to declare an array reference variable. You've got your type or your data type, and then you've got your reference variable name, and then you'll have a pair of brackets, okay? And then a semicolon. The other way is to have a type or data type, a pair of brackets right after that, and then a space, and then the reference variable name, and then the semicolon. Uh, Oracle rep rec recommends that you use this particular uh, format here, but I really enjoy using this format here. Just I think it makes it more readable, especially if you're declaring multiple um, arrays of the same data type using comma notation there. So, but anyway, it's really up to you. Just know it can be done either way. Um, after we declare the reference variable, we then assign it to an array object of specified length. This is how it is done. So we've got a reference variable name, and then our assignment operator equals, and our keyword new and then of course the corresponding type or data type, and then a pair of brackets with the array length inside of the brackets. Okay, so up here we declared the number array and now we're going to uh, assign it to an array object here. So number array equals new, and then of course this is an int array, and it's going to have five elements. Now we can do it all in one statement like this, um, int our data type, number array, open and closing brackets, tells that we've got a reference array, reference variable, type array, and int array specifically, and then our assignment operator, and then new will create the, um, the int array and with five elements in it. Okay? Now once we have created our array object, we can then initialize its elements. We can directly initialize each element like this number array, and then inside the brackets we got indexes. This is where index zero is. We can set its value equal to decimal 67. Um, index one, we can set its decimal value equal to 1398. To uh, index two, five. Index three, 10,300. Index four, 731. So <clears throat> now there is also a shorthand syntax that allows us to declare and initialize an array object without using the new keyword. The values for the elements are enclosed in curly braces and are separated with commas. The length of the array is determined by the number of values inside the braces. So basically here's the way it is. You do your, your data type and then you do your uh, reference variable name, open closing bracket to indicate it's an array, and then you've got your opening brace and your closing brace, and then you've got all of these values separated by commas here. And that will go ahead and initialize it and create the object there. So I'm going to cram one more concept into this tutorial. Almost every core Java object has built-in properties and methods. Because an array is an object, it has some useful built-in properties like length. The length property will return an int data type as the value of the number of elements contained in the array object. So here we're just initializing a simple primitive int data type variable name array length to zero. And then we're assigning array length, um, whatever returns from the number array dot length property. So dot length is the property there of that. So let's go ahead and do some code here. 
We'll highlight all that, hit Control C to copy, or right click and select copy. Let's go ahead and move the browser off screen. Go to Start, Search, type in CMD for the command prompt. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to Start, Run, type in CMD. I'm going to type in Java C, press Enter. You should see a bunch of stuff scroll through here. If you don't, if you see some error messages, then go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java Development Kit. You'll want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly so you can continue on with these tutorials. I'll type in CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory backslash tells it to go down to the root. I'm going to type in MD, which is short for make directory, and Java is a directory I want to make. I already have it, but if you didn't, it would go ahead and create it for you. Uh, we're going to make a directory and we're going to call this one um, single array. Yes, basically I just hit CD and then I just typed in S and hit tab for the shortcut on that. Single array.java is going to be the name of our source code file, also known as a compilation unit. <coughs> Hit Control V to paste. You can also right click and select copy. Okay, so we have got our class declaration, a single array, our main method, entry point here. Um, everything inside of this opening and closing corresponding curly braces here is our code block. So the first thing we're going to do is declare a reference variable, int number array, right, with the opening and closing bracket. Then we're going to allocate int type of array with five elements and assigned it to number array, right? And the new will basically create the object with it there. And then we're going to take each one of the elements and set each one of its elements to a particular corresponding value, right? Just like we talked about in the tutorial or in the, uh, on the web page up there. Okay, now we're going to call the basic print line uh, method and we're going to say the number of elements in number array plus and then number array dot length will return how many elements are actually in this and will display it to the console. Then we're going to do a simple for statement. We're going to loop through five times and we are going to print to the console. We're going to say the value of element and then i plus one because i will start out at zero, right? So the element number one is going to be index number zero. Right, and then we're going to say is, and then we'll get the we'll print off the value of that particular um, array element. Print a blank line, and then we're going to do a string array, and we're going to initialize it and populate it the the last way we talked about there using that syntax, where we have the type, and then we have our reference variable, and which is a type array and then everything inside the opening and closing braces that we have comma separated is going to populate each one of these into an array right which is one two three four five six elements so here's another for statement down here um, we're we're set it it's going to loop through x until x while x is less than string array dot length so of course that will evaluate to six we could have just put put a six in here but i want to show you how we could use this actually in in a for loop there and then we're just going to simply print we're not doing a print line but it'll concatenate all of the array values there to give us our little message on that and then we'll go ahead and send a print line so let's go ahead and save this out here uh, let's clear our screen, type in Java C to compile this, Java C single array dot Java. Let's type in Java single array, let's strip off that, and we'll run it. So the number of elements in number array is 5, right, which is the number array dot length, that particular property. Um, the value of element number one, index zero, is 67, two, so, so on and so forth. So everything we talked about earlier there. And then here we go, we got our single um, sentence arrays are made up of elements, which is exactly what, it, what we did right here. So it just looped through there and kept doing the print on that and it concatenated all of these. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that and close out of that and just leave you with a couple final thoughts. So arrays are used quite often when writing code for Java. Understanding how to declare and initialize them properly is a really good thing to know. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.